is the polynomial rising championships. It's the lightweight category, so all our polynomials have to have degree at most 5. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Oh, the arena looks ready. Our contestants are going to have to plot themselves as their input goes from minus 1 to 1, and they're not allowed to take a value below minus 1 or larger than 1. Larger slope in the arena wins. Yes, it does. Let's start. There's the usual contestant. Line me up. It needs to increase its degree if it wants to get a slope better than 1. Here's a new one. Violation. That's quite steep. They're measuring the slope. And it's 20. That's a lot. Turns out it's a degree 10 polynomial though. So it's disqualified. Here's an old classic. Wiggle Wiggle. That's a sporty performance. And a slope of nearly 7. Not bad. Wait, the chef's contesting here? Whoa. Ooh. Damn. Twenty five, that's stupid crazy. Can anyone even beat that? This video series shows a proof of Markov's inequality. There are multiple Markov's inequalities. The one I'm referring to says that there is no polynomial that can beat the chef. The proof is really neat and takes us through unexpected areas of mathematics with beautiful connections between them. We'll be enjoying the proof in bite-sized portions following the story of the chef as it becomes the undisputed champion of the arena. So let's get back to the story. The chef puts on an incredible performance. 25 is the current world record. But what's really impressive about the chef is how the chef makes it impossible for most contestants to beat that record. At the heart of its toolset, the chef uses the fact that every contestant is a polynomial of degree at most 5. You see, it's a fact that two polynomials that are both of degree at most 5 cannot intersect in more than 5 places. We'll see why that's true in a later video. But as a consequence, if you have two curves that intersect at more than 5 places, and you know that one of them is a polynomial of degree at most 5, then that means that the other curve is not a polynomial of degree at most 5. The chef definitely is a degree 5 polynomial. It doesn't keep it secret. It is 16x to the 5 minus 20x to the 3 plus 5x. And the reason it is so unique is that it goes from minus 1 to 1 to minus 1 to 1 to minus 1 to 1. It is not clear yet how the chef manages to have such precise movement. I can't even figure out at exactly what value of x it reaches the 1s and minus 1s just by looking at its formula. We'll ask the chef about this when we meet it later, but for now let's take a look at some of its best moments. Perhaps the most eye-catchingly impressive of the chef's achievements till now is how it dealt with the threat of larger degree 5 polynomials. By this I mean degree 5 polynomials whose degree 5 coefficient is larger than 16 like this one. It makes sense to call these polynomials large, because they do grow faster than the chef. If x is set to a large value, the larger polynomial will have the larger value at x. So larger polynomials would have an advantage in getting a larger slope. Let's take a potential contestant who is a larger polynomial. We don't know that such a thing exists, but it's a possibility for now. What the chef now does is it cleverly enlarges itself a little bit. This is not so that it gets a bigger slope. This is so that it now goes from below minus 1 to above 1 to below minus 1 and so on. Any enlarging would have achieved this. So the chef chooses a small enough enlarging so that the contestant polynomial still has a larger degree 5 coefficient. Now watch as the contestant goes from the start to the finish line. It has no option but to intersect each of the five arcs of the enlarged chef. And at the finish line, it's smaller than the enlarged chef. Since it's a larger polynomial, it has to eventually be larger than the enlarged chef, so it has to intersect once more. That's six intersections, so this curve here cannot be a degree 5 polynomial. This potential contestant we had here cannot exist. We banish it to the realm of the impossible. What about other potential contestants? Those with degree 5 coefficients at most 16? Can't one of them defeat the chef? The issue gets a bit messier here, and the chef hasn't managed to rule out this possibility completely yet. It has ruled out some special cases though. For example, the potential contestant with slope larger than 25 
in the last segment. So this time the potential contestant has slope larger than 25 somewhere in the last segment. Let's assume it's here. The chef had a neat trick going with forcing five intersections. So in a hope to do the same thing, the chef will enlarge itself again. This time it makes sure that its new maximum slope is still smaller than that of the potential contestant. Additionally, the chef slides sideways so that it intersects the contestant at the place where it has a larger slope. The sliding does change the enlarged chef. If it slides 0.1 to the left, it becomes 17.6 times x plus 0.1 to the 5, minus 22 times x plus 0.1 to the 3, plus 5.5 times x plus 0.1. At any point, the value of this polynomial is the same as the value of the enlarged chef when the input is 0.1 to the right. Or in other words, this is exactly the enlarged chef shifted 0.1 to the left as we wanted. We can expand it, but what's important to note is that the coefficient of the degree 5 term will not change. It will still be 17.6. So the shifted enlarged chef will continue to be larger than the contestant. Because of the sliding, the contestant might not have to hit each arc of the chef. It could skip the first arc, but it does have to hit the others because the shifted amount is smaller than the width of the first arc. Notice that the contestant hits the last arc once where its slope is larger because of how the chef slid. But then it has to hit the last arc once more before that to be able to hit it with a larger slope. Finally, since the shifted enlarged chef is the larger polynomial, it has to hit it again so that the shifted enlarged chef overtakes it. That's six hits. And so even this kind of contestant can't actually exist. This leaves the possibility of contestants that have their degree 5 coefficient at most 16 while having a slope larger than 25 in one of the middle three segments. The problem there is that it could force the chef to slide too much. In that case, the contestant might be able to bypass multiple arcs. And so even though it intersects one arc thrice, it still intersects only five times overall. The chef has not yet been able to handle these possible contestants and has taken a break to go home. In our next episode, we journey to the chef's hometown to ask it about how it moves so precisely and to see if it has any plans for handling the remaining contestants. I hope to see you there. Goodbye.